Hey guys, today I'm not only going to show you this ancient device called Adityasra, but I'm also going to recreate this device and we will see if this works. Adityasra is a device owned by Aditya, who is the sun god, and this figure is the wife of the sun god. And this carving is found at the ancient sun temple of Modara. Now, what does this device do? According to ancient texts, it's a magical device that mimics the sun. In darkness, Adityasra can glow and emit light and indicate its location. In cold weather, it can provide heat and it can even evaporate water and can dry up water bodies. It can also start a fire if needed. All this information is pretty standard in ancient Indian texts and you can see the same information even on Wikipedia. But is it really a magical device or was it made using advanced technology? So, I am recreating this device based on its shape and its utility. It looks like a twisted metal wire. It starts from here, uh, bent into three loops, and then the wire ends on the other side. So, I'm taking a thick copper wire and I'm bending it into this shape to have three loops at the top. Again, I just make it into uh, one long straight wire at this end. You can see that I've made this almost identical to what we see in the carving. I wanted to make this entire wire out of nichrome alloy because it has a very high resistance, but it will get bent easily. So I'm going to wind nichrome wire on top of this. And you can see it doesn't change the way the device looks. But let's see if this will do anything mentioned in ancient texts. I'm going to connect two wires to supply electricity to the nichrome wires. You can see how easy this is. And then I'm just going to plug it into the electrical outlet. Now, what do you think? Will it work? Now, remember, Adityasra is a device of the sun with sun-like properties. The first description is that Adityasra will glow in darkness and reveal its location. It is uh, bright in the studio, so let's turn off the light and see what happens. Where is this device? Yes, you can locate it because it is glowing and it is becoming red hot. The device looks amazing, right? The second point is that Adityasra can provide heat and radiate heat like the sun. I think there should be no doubt in your mind that it can provide heat. In fact, it is so hot, it can be used as a room heater if you are living in a cold place. You can even see smoke coming out of the device. And ancient texts tell us that it can evaporate water. So let's see if we can put this in water and if it is strong enough to evaporate the water in this container. Immediately you can see water vapor coming out. Liquid is being converted into vapor immediately because of the Adityasra. And the last property of this is that it can start a fire if needed. I can easily put a material like cotton in contact with this device and start a fire. So you see how easily we're able to satisfy all the functions of the ancient device called Adityasra. How could sculptors carve it accurately? Is it possible that ancient builders created and used such a device? Or were ancient Indian texts merely creating fictional details? Think for a minute, if this was a mere fictional device made up by ancient writers, how could the sculptors who lived a thousand years ago carve it like a twisted coil with two terminals? Most people would think of astras as weapons used for stabbing or cutting. Ancient builders could have easily imagined it as a heated blade with sharp edges and a pointy tip 
but how could they design it as a twisted wire with two terminals at the bottom? This means that ancient builders would have seen such a device 1000 years ago. Without looking at such a model, they would not have carved it on the stone. So, did such technology exist during ancient times? Again, this is a very simple device. We could build it in our lab in just one day, and none of us are electrical engineers. All we need is some metal, some wires, and electricity. But how did ancient builders get electricity? What was their power source? Now, it's interesting to see this pot like container in her other hand. Why? Because we know of two types of ancient batteries, yes, electric batteries, using simple pots. One is the battery of Sage Agassia. This was made in ancient times using a pot, copper sulfate, and simple metals. I have demonstrated how this works just a few years ago. The other one is the ancient battery found in Baghdad. This is commonly known as the Baghdad battery. This one has archaeological evidence, meaning they found the pot with anode and cathode rods with traces of electrolyte. And in my channel, I've shown you not only how to recreate these, but I've also powered up devices like fans, light bulbs, etc. So there should be no doubt that ancient builders had knowledge of electricity. But the key detail here is that both these types of ancient batteries we have known about so far are in the shape of pots. Today, instead of plugging the Adityasra into an electrical outlet, I could connect it to these ancient batteries and power it up, but I'm not going to reinvent the wheel here. Is it possible that this is the power source of the Adityasra? Why else would she be holding a pot? What is the connection between the pot and this device? If you look carefully, you can see some cable like connections starting from the Adityasra and going behind her. Again, look at the top of the pot. You can see these wire like things going into the pot, just like how a device would be connected to a power source. It's not clear because this is a 1000 year old temple and you can not only see natural damages like corrosion, you can also see intentional destruction. They have broken these two hands, etc. So it's harder to determine if these are connecting wires. But is there any evidence that ancient Hindus used wires? A few years ago, they unearthed some stone turtles in a temple called Sra Srang in Cambodia. Inside these ancient stone artifacts, they found weird objects like bronze wires and crystals. Experts try to dismiss these bronze wires as religious threats, but no Hindu or Buddhist ritual ever uses bronze threats. It's unheard of. But today, we use phosphor bronze wires for all types of electrical work. So this is just one example that yes, it is possible that ancient people used wires for electricity. So what do you think was Adityasra an actual device that was used during ancient times? Was it capable of generating heat and light? Or was it merely a fictional device imagined by ancient Indian writers? How could ancient sculptors imagine such a device that has a twisted wire and two terminals? Was this container a power source? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.